In this video, I am going to explain how to write Verilog code for parallel and serial out shift register. I am taking my select select input clock clear as my inputs and a 4 bit data which I need to feed in parallelly as my inputs and I am taking a temporary register queue of 4 bit data and I am taking my output as V. Now whenever the passage of clock occurs, if my clear signal is high, then all the register should be resetted which means it should become zero and here you can think of this as there are a register of four and you keep a mux at each register and depending on the select input if your select input is zero then you directly feed the data parallelly so this is d of three d of two d of one and d of zero so whenever your select input equal to zero then you are dumping the data parallel into the four registers and when your select input equal to one this output will be connected like this and that will be given as input and this output will be connected like this and this will be given as input like that the structure or the architecture will be continuous which means that whenever your select input equal to zero you will be dumping the data and whenever your select input equal to one you will be doing the shifting of data to the output and you will be taking the output serially here serial out you will be collecting the output here. So the same thing was written in the code here. If your select input equal to zero, then you are dumping the data. So Q, uh, the data will be allocated to the registers or else in the converse case, if your select in input equal to one, whatever the data that is present in Q of zero will be taken as output V, output I have declared here as V. So you are taking the output serially here and you are shifting the contents that are present in the register by one bit position to the right side. So writing the test bench is a challenging one because to observe the conditions that we included, the test bench is very important. Initially, I have taken my clock equal to zero and clear equal to one. After two time units, I'm making my clear signal as zero so that the operation of the parallel in serial out will be continuous. And then I'm giving my select input as zero and I am dumping the data zero, one, zero, zero. And after two time units, I'm making my select input as one. Now the shifting of uh, when you are making the select input as one, the shifting of data will be taking place. So you will be observing the output serially or the output will be observed at V variable. And then after 10 time units, I'm making my select input again zero to dump this data that is triple one zero. And after two time units, I'm making my select in input equal to one to observe the output. So let us simulate these behaviors so that we can observe. Yeah, let me zoom this. Yeah, here you can see at this point my select input equal to zero. So I am I am dumping triple one zero here. You can see triple one zero. So when my select input equal to high at this passage of clock, serially I will get the output the LSB that is zero, and in the next passage of clock I will get one. And you can see at the next passage of clock I will get another one, and at the next passage of clock I will get another one. So three ones here and one zero so zero one 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 the same thing you can see here so in that way you can dump the data parallelly and you can look out the output serially as simple as that that is the very log code for parallel and serial out shift register as simple as that you can copy this and you can try different test cases hope you guys learned something new in this video that's all for this video see you in the next one